Are you serious? Are you serious? Get a little cup of coffee and wait till you hear what I'm getting ready to tell you. Nick from New York sent this to me. Are you serious, Nick? Do they really think they could do this? Um, NASA is set to capture an asteroid. You heard me right. NASA is going to capture an asteroid haul it to the moon and have astronauts visit it. Now the prime candidate is now in sight, the asteroid they want to do. It is a small asteroid. It's the size of a delivery truck. It whizzed by the earth 7,600 miles just past the surface of the earth uh, back in 2011. Um, they said we might be able to uh, put this asteroid in a garage they call it. Northern Arizona University astronomer Michael Mormert, who studied the rock, told the Associated Press. Now the asteroid's name is 2011 MD. Uh, the plan is to capture it with a giant claw or a giant inflatable bag. What? I mean, are you serious? Are you going to reach out and touch someone? Are you serious? Well, that's what they're saying they're trying to do. Now, the second option with being considered is the, uh, what they want to do is they want to catch it, either with a claw or with a big giant inflatable bag, and then haul it to the moon and park it uh, just above the moon, uh, around a little bit of the hovering above the face of the moon. Now, the second option being considered is by NASA would be to instead go for a bigger, much bigger asteroid, create a spacecraft, and fly up there and try to land that spacecraft on this boulder, also taking it to the moon and then letting astronauts, you know, get out of the spacecraft and actually get on the asteroid and explore the asteroid. Now that's a second option. They're going to make a decision which one they're going to do. The decision is coming by the end of this year according to Michelle Gates, uh, program director to the asteroid mission. So which one are they going to do? I don't know. I like the inflatable balloon one really. I really do. I think that's the, it's to keep it simple. It doesn't cost as much. If it don't work, you haven't lost too much. If you build an a, if you bear, if you build this big s spacecraft and try to catch a ride on a boulder and then put the brakes on the boulder and guide it to the moon and all of that, I mean, the, 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 there's too many m moving parts. There's too many possibilities that something can go wrong. Okay, the claw thing will never work. I, I just tell you right now, I'm not a rocket scientist, but uh, I go with the inflatable balloon. It's got a better chance. It really does. It really does. I'm Pastor Paul Begley. Are you serious? Are you serious, NASA? Apparently they are. Here's a question. Why are they doing it? Are they concerned about the millions of asteroids that are headed this way or we're headed into as we enter into this galactical belt and they better get their they better get it figured out what it is we're going to deal with in the months to come? Just a question. Just a question.